Okay, it looks like we're all capped, everyone. So this is this is it. Thanks. So you may know me as Vinny. I'm the streamer from Vine Sauce, and uh, really, I want to thank you guys for coming today. Um, I don't know if this is a PG panel. Okay, well, if, if, if curse words are not your thing, fuck. Also, I was gonna say, I should have did my concert yesterday because this is a lot of people. Or I should have done it today, I did it yesterday, we didn't get as many people. So, maybe, maybe next year we'll do Saturday. Yeah, I need, we need band members that don't have things to do Saturday. That's, that's what it comes down to. Anyway, welcome to the panel. I am uh, here with some of the other streamers. You may have seen them, maybe not, but Fred. Oh, hi. Ema Cooney. What up, Maggie? Jen, or Mental Jen. And Rev Scarecrow. Hey. <laughs> So it's nice to have you guys here. There's been a lot of people. I've met probably most of you at this point, right? Um, yeah, 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 it's been good. The show was good yesterday. Thanks for coming, whoever did. And, um, you know, compared to that, this is like a breeze. I don't even care. <laughs> I, I, I got nothing. This is going to be the least prepared panel. I have nothing. Like, Brent had a card game. Oh, cool. Just like my stream. I don't come prepared. I have one segment. It's called, oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news. And we're, this is where we talk about monkeys doing odd things like robbing trains. So if you're here for that, well, anyway. So yeah, uh, we're gonna do a Q&A. I guess I'll bullshit for a little bit and talk about vine sauce related things. And then, uh, no, <laughs> we didn't start yet. We didn't start the Q&A. Hang on a second, someone texted me. This is gonna be important. <laughs> It wasn't. Was it Joel? No. No, no, no. I have more than one friend. Joel's asleep. What? Joel's probably asleep. Yeah. So anyway, welcome to the, the thing, and uh, that's, that's cool. Um, yeah, so what, what's new, guys? How's things? It's going on, right? That's good. It's just like the stream, you know? No, no preparation, no fucks given. Anyway. Um, Really though, it's been, Too Many Games is my favorite convention because, I mean, how great is this shit? We had some really good guests this year. I got a chance to meet Doug for the first time. That was cool. Um, I, I was actually, I, I'll tell you now, I filmed a thing with James and Mike, so that'll be hopefully not complete shit, but maybe that'll be out soon. James and Mike, you know, angry video game people. Um, Mike Matinee. <laughs> Live like a wind rammer as you fuck, no? <laughs> alright, alright. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's great to have you guys here. This is a really packed panel and it means a lot to all of us that you are... Can, how did this happen again? <laughs> What's so good about what we... I don't get it. What do we do that's... That do, it's the memes. <laughs> Dang memes! Do I have permission to kick people out? <laughs> Ah, okay. All right. That's okay. Well, you're dicks, right? So this guy's name is I Love Dicks in the chat. He's here. And the best part about that name is that every time I want to reference him in chat, I have to say dicks. I just say dicks. He's dicks. Hi, dicks. Yeah, so that's cool. Uh, I don't have a lot to say, but I do want to tell you about the spider door. So Mike is here, my buddy Mike, drummer in Redbox. Yeah. yeah. Mike's a really good friend. You might have seen him drumming yesterday. Uh, it was good. We, we enjoyed that a lot. And uh, thanks for coming if you did. But um, yeah, so we, we our hotel has a side entrance and, it, and we're just like walking to it. And uh, just spiders. It was just li like fucking giant spiders all around the door. It was like, it was like, um, 
Arachnophobia is one way to put it. What's the thing from the uh, from Lord of the Rings? What's the shell up? Shela, Shela. It was that. And me and Mike could just say, "We're grown men." Yeah, no, we'll walk through there. No, no, we're grown ass men. We're not afraid of spiders. And then we just never use that entrance again. <laughs> True story. Um, they were ma they were fucking massive. They were fucking massive, mate. <laughs> so I guess uh, what else can I tell you? Um, I like ducks. <laughs> But geese, geese are the worst. Ducks are alright, geese are feathered honking shitbags. So, anyway, so that's that's all I got. Uh, what? what? Whales? Whales? That, I, I mean, yeah, you can't, yeah. Hey, dude, in Subnautica, there's some cool looking whales. They got like tentacles and shit. A what? Oh, quail. I was like, why? You didn't even pick the right genus. You, you stay within the bird. Stay within the bird. So, all right, that's enough of that. Um, good fucking catch. What's your name? What's your name? I'm Logan. Logan caught a fruit roll up. Good job. <laughs> Um, who brought these, by the way? What was the guy? Oh, thank you. This dude just brought a 30-pack of fruit roll-ups. So I mentioned don't bring them, but the cool thing about this is instead of me getting pelted with them, now you get pelted with them. Yeah! You, then, you, you're starving? I have not eaten all day. Wait a minute. Hang on a second. No, no, no. I can't just be like, all right, look, you're hungry, you're hungry. I'm going to give you fruit roll-ups. We can't do that. But if you catch one... You know, then, then we're good. I, well, you, look, it'll happen when you least expect it. There's gonna be fruit roll-ups, and maybe you'll get one, you never know. All right, listen, let's do a Q&A. If you have questions that we've answered a thousand times, then just ask them anyway, we gotta kill time. So go ahead. Uh, you in the back, you had the first question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Project. Do you have a projector? That's my question. No, go ahead. Um, Jen or Donna Cooney? So Donna Cooney is Ima Cooney's mom. Why Jen? Why does Jen fight her? <laughs> my mom's one battle. Oh, okay, Vine mom. Good, 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 good. Hey, can can you read your shirt? What's your shirt say? It's called anime, Dan. Yeah. Aww. So. Uh, you guys might want to, who would win? Jen, do you think you would win against Donna Cooney? Donna Cooney would destroy me. <laughs> Absolutely. Do you have a rebuttal? Listen, my mom would tear her a new asshole. Maybe even three new assholes. <laughs> it's not much of a competition if you're both agreeing. I mean, <laughs> she. Hey, does anyone here have, if you have questions for the streamers, you could just say Rev or whoever, you know. But if it's for me, then, then just, you know, just say my name, Joel. But, I do that joke way too much, but I get it's true though. I, I come to these things a lot, and people like are just like, "Are you Joel?" It happens. It happens. It's okay. It's okay. I don't sound like him, but I mean, it's hard. There's a lot of us, man. Yo, so questions? Yeah, go ahead. Yo, what's the hardest thing about you guys streaming? Like when you start streaming up, what's the hardest thing you guys right. run through your mind? Um, what well, when we started or now? Like when you started, then you know when you're. Streaming it. I mean, when we first started, the hardest thing was just finding an audience and, you know, finding out, like, I mean, it was just shameless memes earlier. Now it's shameless memes now. Um, no, I mean, it's still, you want to make sure your audience is entertained and you, you want to, I, I mean, I'm 31, man. You know, I don't know how long I could be memeing. You know, Hagrid, check it out. You know, I mean, like, so you got to figure out a nice balance, I think, of, of conversational like kind of streaming as well as maybe entertaining. Um, I think it's it's a balance that's important. What do you guys think? I don't fucking prepare. I don't. I, don't. <laughs> I, I just I show up. I get a cup of coffee and I just fuck around for two hours and then people watch. I don't know what. All of you are here for this. Yeah. <laughs> we we don't prepare. I feel bad for the people that put a lot of work into their shit. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, hey you, what's up? Uh, yeah. Do you do any, uh, before you start streaming, do you do any preparations? Like, do you do some sort of chant or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No. <laughs> I don't. No, I, my preparation is I make sure my computer equipment doesn't crash. To the, like, I, you know, run everything first. I, well, sometimes. I try. And um, if I don't have audio, I restart my computer. Those are my rituals. I don't think about it. Like, I've streamed all, well over a thousand times now in my life. Like, probably over two thousand. And so it's just a part of my day. It's pretty normal. What's up? I know mostly you get the submissions, but I, for the whole panel, what's some of the most uh, disturbing content you've been submitted to stream? Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Sonic Dreams Collection, yes, that was a weird one. Bad rats. I think everyone has 16 copies of Bad Rats. My number nine. Oh, shit! Throwing shade! This is a recent one. Uh, Elsa spank butt? Yeah. I spanked her butt at like over 200 miles an hour. Just shatter that thing. <laughs> I've, I've also received some strange games about pregnancy that I'm not going to go into, and I, I've, I've not streamed them. I've not streamed them, but pregnancy is apparently a great topic for video games these days. People fucking love it. What? Um, I guess any one of you in there that stands up first, go. Yeah, good job, sailor outfit. Are you guys game No, no, no. I'm, we're the game cunts. If the, if the language is too strong, the door. There's a lot of other people that would like to take your place, so... Yeah. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do the dude with the red box shirt. I may be biased. <laughs> so... Um, so, Vicky, have you ever thought about just continuing to come out your live streams maybe like once a month or something, or are you just completely done with them? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Um, I still like Tamadachi. Like, it was, it was cool. There's just not a whole lot else to see. You know, Tamanachi was fun for a while, it's just you kind of run out of dialogue options, and then, you know, it's like, oh great, yeah, grass is loose, and it's like, you know, they're going to send them to space, and that's, that's the last thing you can do. It will come back. I mean, we, we will see Tamanachi on special occasions once I get my 3DS capture card fixed. If you know about that, help. No, I'm kidding. I, I have, if, to answer the question, the, the 3DS capture card thing was, um, it's fixable. It's just a matter of how. I have to learn how to solder with really micro solder tools. So, yeah, I'll probably fuck it up. Um, dude with the thing. <laughs> yeah, you. I don't know, I guess you're, you got a thing, right? Shirt, sure. Yeah. When you go to chat, what's the meme that you hate the most? Bees. <laughs> or, or, granddad. It's not mine. Granddad? Why did I invoke the name of the unholy? It's just, okay, listen, bees, we all like to joke about bees, right, Rev? Yeah. Rev likes to joke about bees from time to time. Are you still salty about that? No, I don't know, you're great. Okay. And uh, the bees thing is just, it, it is, it's kind of her fault, actually. Yeah, it's my fault. Why don't you tell them how it started? Okay, so it started when Alex linked me the the YouTube video for It's Hit the Fuck Bees. Now, since I was the, the, the sound director department for the whole repainted for Super Mario Galaxy, I was like, okay, that honey hive galaxy, that's like the second level, right? What happens if I fake Vinny out and instead of replacing, you know, the music directly, I kind of fake him out with it? And then, so the song starts like Honey Hive, and then it turns into, It's hit the fuck, bees! <laughs> Which is well, I, I Huey Lewis right. in the news, but superimposed, what, Penn Jillette, and who says bees? I have no idea. We don't know where that clip came from. <laughs> it's just not funny because it's, it's like, uh, you know, the, the moment was funny, but the word bees isn't funny. And sure, they're attractive, but hey, no one needs to know that. Okay, next question. You, Rick and Morty shirt. Question for the whole panel. Good, good. Alright, so, which, what's the number one fictional character you would fuck? <laughs> I'll just, if you watch my Chrono Trigger stream, you know the answer. <laughs> Frog. Um, you guys, I really want to answer this question. If, if I say Sonic the Hedgehog, would you, would you hate me? 
Is there a Seinfeld game? If so, Seinfeld. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. And so will you soon. If I hurt anyone, uh, let's sign a contract verbally right now. I'm not liable. <laughs> you get a fruit roll up, so that's good. Do we, you want to answer the question about the fictional character? No, I'm good. Good. <laughs> Jen, you good? I'm good. No comment. How about you, Fritz? Here, I'll, I'll give you one for you, Vinny. Uh, I'll do Ralph Luton. Get out of here! Fred with the crowd pleaser answer. <laughs> Oh man, that's good stuff, Fred. The guy with the pizza. <laughs> yeah, we I like pizza. You, you have a lot in common. Yeah. The guy who's kind of sponge, but not. Who are you? Orange. I'm an urban sponge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Young sponge. He's an urban sponge. But... <laughs> are you happy? Are you happy? Yes. You are a new man, then. So, what's your question? My question is: Are there any games that everyone adores? Going on like 10 out of 10, everyone loves that you just despise or just hate or not like, oh, no, right. Oh, God. Uh, I, I, like, what's the best Sonic the Hedgehog game that ever came out? <laughs> Fuck you, man. I've never played it. Oh, I was gonna say, I never played it. Play it! I don't give, have a chance. Give it a chance. Oh. I, I will literally give it to you. No, 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 I'm good. <laughs> no, 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 you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. I'm all right. Um, I don't have an answer right now. Do you, any of you know the answer to this? Like, if you watch my streams? No, no, it's not that one. That was that was the exception. What? Oh, go ahead. Um, Does anyone have a good answer to that? New Vegas. Really? Yeah. What about New Vegas don't you like? It seems like it's just like, why is anyone here? Why are they talking to me? Why are they happy? Like, everyone should be really depressed. What the fuck? It's weird. It's not a bad answer, actually. Um, okay, here's one. I Final Fantasy X didn't do it for me. But, I don't hate it. I actually like a lot of it. I just didn't o like the overall package. Then again, I played it when I was 26 or 27, so I didn't have the nostalgia for it. I like a lot of the game, but, uh, man, some of that stuff is, is hard to digest. Sorry. Yeah. Any, you guys have answers? Or you... I, I was actually also going to say Fallout. Yeah. Just not too big into it. Do you like the other Fallout, Trev? I, I love everything about the concept. Like, I love, you know, the post-apocalyptic thing. I love, like, the gunplay idea, but it's just like... I don't know. There's, It's weird. It's a weird game, and it doesn't feel like anyone should be happy that they're dying. <laughs> that they're like, dying. <laughs> like, there are monsters outside that will rip you apart all of the time, and everyone's just like, Hi, how are you? It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? But Rev, through the power of friendship and love, can we come together? I mean, you're gonna have to jerk me off a bit. For, <laughs> for those in the back that didn't hear that, you're better off. <laughs> Um, next question, uh, the dude who's been raising his hand with the, the hair. <laughs> you have hair, stand up. Yes, you laughed, stand, you got it. Hi. <laughs> I know who you are. You've done a lot of video games, like, a couple hundred? Yeah. When are you going to complete real life? Um, I'm hoping by level 80, but something tells me probably level 38. <laughs> we'll see what happens, thanks for the question. Uh, you. How do I how do I do it? I don't think I can explain that in words. It's just a thing. It's just okay. Here's what you do. Hate yourself, <laughs> and then attempt the dolan. <laughs> like, <laughs> which one? You mean that, or you mean like? <laughs> that one. I uh, so okay. So Mike Matei, right? Mike Matei is a cool dude. I just I don't really know him that well, but I met him. A few times, and, and the other thing was amazing because he sent me a message on Twitter. I had barely ever spoken to this guy. In fact, I'm kind of intimidated because I've watched this shit for so long, him and James. And uh, he messages me at like 1 a.m. last night, or no, two nights ago. And it's just, here's the only question he asked me was, I heard you do a Pee Wee Herman impression. <laughs> that was it. And I was like, yes, I do. And then I found out what, what the reason was, because he does a better one. And we had a her last night we had a Herman off, which is not as filthy as you think it is. Well, wait, Pee Wee. Any other questions? 
Um, let's see, let me get someone over here. Glasses, sunglasses. Yeah, um, hey, so do you think like with the growth of the channel that anything's been lost just in terms of quality or interactions? Um, yeah, of course. That's part of it. You lose the one-on-one -on -one interaction. And part of me is laments that. I mean, I definitely get a chance to interact with people and get to know people one-on-one. -on -one. But to be honest, I prefer where I'm at now because, you know, when you have that, like, okay, when you have a smaller channel and you interact with people on a smaller level, and then things start happening that are good, some of those people will hate you. <laughs> so you have to kind of, you know, you just have to, and, and like, giving attention to everyone one-on-one -on -one is very difficult. So, yeah, it sucks, but I'm happy where I'm at. Losing the smaller channel with streaming, I mean, most of you guys, who, who here streams? Who, who attempts streaming on Twitch? And who here has a moderately big channel? Okay, Rick, ha oh, Rick. <laughs> How you doing, Morty? That's pretty good, Morty! Pretty good. I like this guy. Thanks. Um, but you know how hard it is. You guys see how hard it is. The people that attempt to stream, right? It's really difficult to build an audience. We started before Twitch. And therefore, we had the opportunity to, like, you know, I don't know. They invited us, actually. So that's the cool thing about that. But it's really hard to establish an audience. And it's hard to get out of that small audience zone. Only through the power of memes. <laughs> Can you escape that? No, and it took a lot of videos, it took viral things, like a lot of viral shit that happened, like the Mario Corruptions video, stuff like that, Mario Luigi getting a little mm, with each other, that kind of thing. But aside from that, it's really hard to break out, but there's so many fucking streamers these days. So I say if you can, you know, do what you love and people are there enough to watch and enjoy, then yeah, enjoy it. And, Getting a bigger channel, it can be bad too, but I'm not gonna go into that any further. Sorry, I'm wasting time. Go ahead. Uh, the purple guy, who I've seen through the, by, by the booth for like the whole two days. Hi. Hi. What's your name again? John. Right. Okay, what's up, John? Um, I'm a movie buff to some extent. Um, me and Mike like to talk about shitty TV shows and it's, <laughs> um, what else do I do? I, re I like to read. Um, I read about astrophysics. I don't. <laughs> um, what? Monty Python. This guy's right. Yes, Monty Python. I like a lot of stuff like that. Yeah, but mostly video games and music. That's good enough. If you immerse yourself completely in one or two hobbies, then what's there to miss? You love what you do, then you love it. It's good enough. Afro guy. You're the Afro guy. Whoa, dude. No, 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 that's you. I was going to say, you, I saw you rocking out to the Red Vox stuff yesterday. Right? You were really getting into it. That's awesome. Thanks, man. With hair like that, I really, you know, I, I caught... Yeah, man, look at that. This guy's awesome. What, what's... Yeah, sure. What's your name? What's your name? Uh, Gabriel. Hey, Gabriel, what's your question, dude? My question is, out of all the weird and shitty games they've played, which has left the deepest mental scar? Limbo of the Lost. <laughs> Someone brought me a copy to... You brought me a copy to sign. I, saw, I didn't even know this was a physical copy. That game fucking sucks. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> so that's the answer to that question. Um, you, Green. Um... What's your favorite kind of game to play, like bad games or a genre of game? My favorite type of game to play, I, I like bad games um, because they're fun to make fun of, but I couldn't be doing that all the time because it's just, it's just like, no. So my, lately my favorite type of game to play is big, dumb first-person shooters. I love the new Doom. I'm an asshole. I loved it so much. But I also love old Doom. Um, and I also, the Subnautica streams have proven to me that games like that are really fucking fun and really like I'm gonna use the word chill, you know, Subnautica and chill. A lot of people tell me they fall asleep to my streams, and uh, I'm that's right, 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 right. I can't tell if that's a compliment or a compliment or not. Yeah, like uh, cool, thanks. It's a compliment. I'm sorry, but when I see a Reaper Leviathan, I'm sorry when I'm like, ah! then I wake you all up. I don't want to wake you up, but I mean, I have no choice. So yeah, right now Subnautica is like a really fun one. Um, but generally, I love. I also love platformers. Like the, the old school platformers are a lot of fun for me. So yeah, definitely those. Uh, Wario hat. Wario hat. Thank you. 
that's very nice. Rapture shirt. Um, are you gonna? Is it possible that you could throw in rub titties extended into blood bagel? Oh, blood bagel's almost done. Uh, rub titties extended. That's not even my song, man. We'd have to like create a whole new rub titties experience. <laughs> So, for those that don't know what Blood Bagel is, it's just a five-song album uh, that we're working on. I'm going to give you some titles, right, some previews. This is how stupid we are in the studio lately. Just five songs, dumb 80s hair metal type shit, like metal, like loud, hard rock stuff. And uh, the song called Fuck, you may have heard yesterday. We like that one. Then there's a song called Roid Rage, and it's not about steroids. And then there's another song called Vomit in the Ball Pit. So, we, we need help. If anyone here is a therapist, see me after the conversion. Um, let me see, here's someone I haven't met yet. If I've met you, lower your hand for a minute. Um, all the way in the back. Lit girl, yeah. Thanks. Fred, you want to start? No. <laughs> uh, think about it. Okay, Rev, you want? Star Fox 64 for sure. I, I grew up with that shit. I think me and Marissa could probably agree that Banjo Kazooie is really Yeah! Cool. Yeah! yeah! Banjo Kazooie, fuck yeah. I, I agree, but I have a couple. It's either between Banjo Kazooie, Conquer's Bad Fur Day, or Super Smash Brothers 64. Yeah, Conquer! Okay, I think my probably would be Majora's Mask. Yeah! Good yeah. choice. Castlevania 64. Yeah. Dude, that game controls like a bag of turds. That's awful. It's a pretty good game, though. It's actually not as bad as it's made out to be. Yeah, it's, it's actually a pretty good game. It just needs a little bit more development time. I think it's about 20 years too late for that, though. It's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. He's in both. Fred, why are you hurting us so much? Fred, what the fuck is wrong with you? Um, glasses. Sorry, I don't mean to call you glasses. <laughs> yeah, you, you. Yeah, tall dude. Hey, what's up? Question. Yeah. Have you ever considered doing Mario Party on stream with people to lose friends? Yeah. Um, it's happened many times. Yeah. We've done it. Yeah, drunk. The drunkest I've ever been in my life was when KY came over five years ago. And we did shots of a horrible drink called Admiral Nelson. <laughs> Was it your recommendation? No, right? No, I think you drank it before I recommended it or something like that. And then we both got sick off of it or something. I don't drink yeah. a whole lot anymore, but, but that was one of the nights that I remember when I think about like alcohol these days. And, and the thing about it was we played Mario Party and then we had the two computers. And the idea of it was, you know, the chat were the computers. Like, that's the joke. And uh, if we won a game, our character won a game, we'd have to take a shot. 25 shots of Admiral Nelson. You see how fucking skinny I am? That doesn't work. I was hung over for two days. I, I, I think I browned out. I don't think I blacked out. But. Mario Party's fun though, and um, I, I wish they would honestly make a compilation of the best mini games from the first three. And just fucking put that out. You know what, lately, the, the new one on the DS looks kind of interesting. It doesn't have online. We're, we're pretty pissed about that. What the fuck? But it's all RNG now, too, you know? Was, um, everyone moves at the same time or something. Yeah. yeah. No skill. The series has a lot of potential, and it could be a great online... I know, I get it. You want to be on the couch so you can do, like, punch people. Sorry, Jen. <laughs> and, you, can, you know. But Mario Party is a good game, and yes, I considered it, and maybe it'll happen again one day. Yes. We've already done Joel, GPM, and Rev. You've done it recently, yeah. right? Yeah, I got really drunk that day. <laughs> yeah. Rev got really drunk that day. Yes. Yeah, that was the time with Kirkle. So one of my favorite moments in your stream in particular was taking it into context in about... Um, <laughs> taking it into context took about two hours. Um, it was during your uh, Symphony of the Night stream. Symphony of the Night stream. Uh, you were farming the Rune Sword. The Rune Sword. And I, you need to take that full event into context. Because it's the biggest piece of comedy and the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. Do you want a highlight of that? I, Is there one already or no? I yeah, I think, think South Bird made one. Yo, South Bird, where you at? South Bird, did you make a, a highlight? Oh yeah, look at that. They know who you are. So South Bird, did you make a highlight of the sword farming? Okay, let's let's make it happen. I'll, I, I'll pay you in fruit roll-ups. 
27 left. You won't know. You won't know. It's like, it's like a tiger. Before we do a question, yeah, this was a most heartbreaking moment because I think it had a 1% chance to spawn this sword. And I finally, it took me like a half hour and I was just like becoming crazy and, and it was just horrible. And I finally got the sword. It's a really rare sword. It's called the Rune Sword, right? And it's, it's a cool sword. I finally got it. And then I'm, I'm just bullshitting to the audience, and then, of course, I get killed by a fucking skeleton. I didn't save. I couldn't rewind. I was dead. I had to go back and do the same farming again. So, let's, let's get a highlight of that, and let's, let's, uh, let's hate Symphony of the Night further. You with the guy. Um, NYU shirt, yes. Yeah. So you mentioned that too many games reached out to you guys. Have you had any, like, outstanding or weird companies or cons, like, reach out to Vine Sauce as a whole that you can think of? I'm sure you guys have received some weird emails, right? Like, we've all received weird emails. After a while, you just get emails that are like, hey, will you play my game? It's completely unfinished, and it's, you know, we're trying to rip off off. Um, and I want you to play it, and it's like, Vine Sauce Rev, you just copy-pasted my name from YouTube. You don't know who the fuck I am? Get out of here. None of that. Yeah, no, he's right. We get a lot of weird unfinished games. That, I mean, I don't mind checking out unfinished games. You've seen my streams, but <laughs> the thing about it is, like, we get a lot of requests from companies to show up at places or do things. I've had some weird... I can't really, you know, off the top of my head, I can't really think about it. But I'll tell you what, if I have anything, I'll mention it on stream. The so this will be an interactive porn. panel. I got one that was about clown porn. Clown porn? Yeah. I didn't realize it was about clown porn until halfway into the stream. <laughs> so oh, the game was about clown porn. Yes. I thought it was like an email, like, hey, kids. No. They're just like, we have this weird psychedelic game, you know, we want to get some exposure for it. Will you play it? And I'm like, yeah, and, you know, I've never gotten an email like this. Why not? And now I don't do it. <laughs> yeah, you should have told me about it. Uh, I will send you the clown porn game. Is it PG? No. <laughs> And also, too, I've been um, asked to promote clothing lines. Because, no, 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 really, it's just because of the number that you see on the YouTube channel, not because they know who I, hello, Vine Sauce, we like your material. And it's like, the material is like, they're making me promote sports, like, clothing. It's like, yeah, you know the material, obviously. Good copy-paste job. Yeah. Uh, any, anyone else? Let's see, Blue Shirt over there. I noticed you haven't done an impression of the Deli guy in a while. Is he dead? Um, Deli guy got fired for, sorry. Uh, Deli guy got fired for selling cigarettes to underage people. <laughs> so I'll tell you the story. Who doesn't know Deli guy's story? Okay, a lot of people. There's a guy at uh, my local deli who had a really fun voice. And he always made the same joke every time I saw him. And it was like, oh, why do you not work at Deli, huh? He wanted me to work at the Deli, huh? Do you not work at Deli? It's cool to work at Deli. Uh, he thought I would love to work at a Deli. And so I just would tell him, nah, I'm good, thanks, man. And then he was, no, 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 that'll be chop. <laughs> so, I, this happened for like a year and a half. I would tell the stream about it. They enjoyed it. And then the guy got fired for selling cigarettes to underage kids. And I wish him well wherever he may be. In Delhi heaven. Um, I'm going to go for someone in the back. There's another Wario hat back there. You're holding up a Waluigi. Speaking of Waluigi, there was a Waluigi walking in with a tennis racket when I first got here today. And it's like, there's an ESP between Waluigi and friends. I mean, because I just went, I looked at him and I just went, Wah. he went, Wah. and that was it. That was the end of our interaction. No one stopped. We kept walking and I felt like I had a deeper appreciation for this man. <laughs> so what's up? Rick Sanchez? Who would win in a boxing match? Rick or Mario? Who's, which Rick? Oh, Rick Sanchez from uh, Rick and Morty. Um, does, is Rick's an old man? Well, this guy, stand up, Rick. Are you? Do you think you're fit to take Mario? This dude looks pretty jacked. I mean, he he could do it. Um, okay, okay. How about this? I have an idea. I have an idea. We, do we have a war, do we have a Mario guy? Who's who's wearing Mario stuff? Oh, there's a few people. I'll tell you what. Let's forget about that. Rick, sit down. <laughs> I'll tell you why. I don't want you to bias the results. Here's why. If clap if you think Rick would win. Let's test this out. Okay, I'll clap, and then when I do this, stop all at the same time. So clap. That's amazing. Man, I like this. Um, no, 
Good job, Rick. But uh, how about Mario? Clap for Mario. Rick would win. Nice. Um, let's see. Who haven't I met? Uh, pink shirt. Like, Active World? That yeah, that case. Like, what was going through your head when you met that person? Like, were they, did you think that they were an AI or, like, another person playing the game? Okay, this is good. Maybe I can now explain this because I've had a lot of people think I'm a complete dope because of that situation, and I am. Let's not make any mistakes. But what happened was, okay, for anyone who's unaware, played this old, like, online chat client called Active Worlds. Right, and the reason I played it is because it looked like a piece of shit. I like piece of shit games, but I also wanted to see what it would be like to see a 20 year old online game with its abandoned like towns and cities that people spent years making. So I get on there, I get to the goblin village and I'm stuck and then someone shows up and I thought they were a bot because they said, are you lost traveler? Three times in a row in the same way. And the reason I thought they were a bot, if you watch my old world stream, of me exploring a different pro everything's called worlds but if you watch that stream NPCs will talk to you and it'll be in the chat so I thought NPCs were talking to me in that game so I thought it was just a bot I thought it was a bot but after the first like five minutes I knew what was going on like I saw like spelling errors and stuff but I'm also at heart an entertainer if you could believe it <laughs> so I played along a little bit and I realized pretty soon it wasn't actually a an AI you know, made of dreams and magic, <laughs> and then somehow better than any other technology on this planet. But um, I ended up cutting the, the video together with like some cool Bowie music and a lot of creepy stuff. Mars Volta. Does anyone like Mars Volta? It's a few people. Wow, Rick, thanks. <laughs> this guy. Um, so yeah, and then the video went totally viral against any and all expectations. It was on Facebook and I was just like, why? <laughs> but it was cool. Um, it's just that people were like, oh, he faked the whole thing. I can tell you now, I didn't fake it. But uh, it, if I faked it, it would have been better than that. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, red shirt. Uh, I just wanted to ask, like, across the board, uh, what is your biggest guilty pleasure game? A game you know is shit, but will fervently def defend it against any, like, criticism? <clears throat> Zelda 2 is not shitty, right? Debatable. Oh, come on. <laughs> I've never played it, but I've heard it shit. Does anyone know my answer? You guys know me better than I know myself sometimes. Cube! Cube! I don't have a good answer. So I, I yeah. love Zelda 2. I think it's a great game, and some people hate it. It's polarizing. But that's probably as far as I'll go into shitty territory while still loving it. And it's not even shitty. It's great. Anyone else? I have a love-hate relationship with Sonic 2006. The music is good. Some of the characters' gameplay is actually okay. But don't talk to me about that game. We don't hate it. And again, Castlevania 64 isn't generally regarded as a great game, but I have a lot of nostalgia for it. The music, the location, the atmosphere. It's just controls like, like, like you're sliding on ice while wearing, wearing shoes made of jello and dick. Any other answers? No. I can't think of anything. Okay. I'll think of it later. Let me see how much time we have, everyone. We've got 50... Uh, how much time do we have, anyway? Like, what, 10 minutes? <laughs> They're all taking out their phones. I want to thank the people that work here. Uh, six minutes? Six minutes, okay. All right, so Marissa has a little surprise for you guys. But before we do that, once again, um, yeah, the, the volunteers, the people that have worked really hard, and I want to thank... Um, Ryan, who you might see on the Cinemassacre channel, he got this whole thing together. He's not here right now, but he, he's the guy who got me involved in all this. And You know, you guys saw the back of the magazine, right? The Too Many Games magazine, and I'm in there. Yeah. I didn't know about that until fucking yesterday. And I was blown away. I mean, I don't know how all this is still happening. But, um, hey, fruit roll up. There's two. Oh, shit, you got pelted. <laughs> There you go. You're still not the weirdest person I met at a con. No, she came over to the booth before. She's like, am I the weirdest person you've met at this convention? I'm like, no. And also, who was the other guy that said that you weren't? Uh, Pro Jerry. Pro Jerry. <laughs> You're fine. And to the people who are thinking, why? Why would I be the weirdest person at a convention? Yeah, that's good reason. Yeah. 
And the crowd goes mild. All right, so Marissa, you have a surprise. I don't even know what this is. Oh, okay, then. Let me let me hit you up with a question. Are you ready? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Will you show me how to break through my man? <laughs> All right, whoa, 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 whoa. Logistically, let's think about this. We've only got four minutes left. Okay, it takes a while. To... If you want a grapefruit, yo, mans, it's going to take a little while. Maybe you could show me a private then. I have one question for you. Where the fuck did you get this from? It was David. He went and got a grapefruit for us David, for this you, joke. David, you bought a grapefruit for us? Was it worth it? Catch. Aim for face. All right, who? Uh, do we? What do we want to do with this? Throw in the crowd. Uh, you, you're not gonna help. Right, we got a few minutes. We got a, probably a few more quick questions. So, um, all the furthest back person that's raising their hand, whoever that is, just yeah, figure you. it out. You have to stand and project. Oh. Shitty flash games? What's the question about them? The worst one. Yeah. I think Rev might have an answer. Elsa haircut surgery? <laughs> so you give a baby a haircut, and while you're doing it, you maim her horribly, and you have to, like, patch her up. That, I think that's the answer. Turn the mic off. I'm going with the mixer. We can know yeah. what I want to hear <laughs> You watch. How long did you play that for? Uh, you know, enough time to, to finish it. You, you got the full visceral experience. Yeah, I got the full experience. I mean, that or Elsa spank butt. <laughs> this poor character. Um, blue shirt. Blue shirt. You with blue shirt with the yellow words on it. The best episode of Rick and Morty. Mike, which one do we like? Is, is, I think Mr. Poopy Butthole and. And the one with Crumbopulous uh, Michael, and and also I, I yeah, because Jermaine's in that, and they do the song. The world's gonna be one together, cosmos without hatred. That's hard. Uh, you with the beard. Everyone fucking has a beard these days. <laughs> what is the highlight clip or something that happened on stream you would not want your parents or your friends to find out about? Sonic Dreams Collection. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, we're not done yet. You guys go. My parents have watched my stuff, and um, my mom does um, Eucharistic Visitor, so she goes to sick people and, like, you know, gives them communion and stuff. Like, very nice woman. My dad plays, you know, Beatles and that sort of thing. And fuck you if you're going to ask. You know, um, I but, like Beatles. But yeah, yeah. And um, they saw it, just all of it. All of it. <laughs> all of it. That sounded nice. so terrible. I'm so sorry, Rev. <laughs> it's okay. They still support me, so that's cool. Jen, you have any answers? All of them. Everything I've ever done. I do not want them to see any of it. That's a shame. How about you guys? Alright, well, all my friends, my mom, my grandmother has seen my streams. Uh, there's nothing to hide. No shame. I think the uh, courtesy of, of good old Vinny here, he showed me a, a lovely image of, of Goofy spinning around. Yes. It was very pleasant. <laughs> goofy, Goofy spin, goofy nice spin. Goofy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, no, he's, yeah. You know, <laughs> and, no, and, and there's a lot of shit, including... He's very muscular, though. So. It's very muscular. There's a lot of shit I've streamed that's, like, totally inappropriate for life. <laughs> Again, I'm sure you can figure it out better than I can. Um, there's, I'll think of it, and I'll tell you on stream. So, um, I guess that's it. I think we're done. We're going to wrap up. What's up? One more question? Okay. So, um, dude in the back with the green. Sorry, everyone else. Hey, while you're distracted, think quick. <laughs> Headshot. You okay with that? You all right? All right. Big shot. Go ahead, green. You're going to stop trucking shit. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I started Vine Sauce, what were the channels I looked towards for inspiration? So Red Letter Media is, I got a lot of my sense of humor from Mr. Plinkett's videos and from Mike and Jay. I love them. They are the best. Shout outs to 
rich for his best laugh on the planet. And also, um, obviously, I, I think I grew up with AVG. Well, not grew up, but I mean, I spent my 20s watching AVGN videos, absolutely. Um, other than that, not a whole lot, yeah. Just random assorted stuff here and there. And I think that's it for questions, so I just want to thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you. I, I like how two people in the back attempted a standing ovation. That's not, usually the people in the front, no, 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 sit, everyone sit. It's fine, no, it's fine. But uh, I just want to give you guys some updates. Tomorrow I have an autographing uh, someplace. Does anyone know what time the autographing is? Two. It's at two. Wow, I know what I'm doing. And um, I'll see you guys on stream and look forward to more video game streams. The charity stream is when? The 22nd to the 24th? Uh, the, the 23rd to the 24th. Right, I know, again, I know my shit. 23rd to the 24th, we're doing a charity stream for PCRF, Pediatric Cancer Research Foundation. You should come and check it out. There's going to be new shirts and things. Also, um, we'll have Blood Bagel out hopefully by the end of the summer and then more things with Redbox. That's all I got. You guys have a great convention. Don't Thank get sick so and shower. Yeah.